Hey everyone, what's up? It is Garage King here. Today I got a special episode for you. I'm going to do my best to try to teach you how to drive a manual transmission car. So it's gonna be exciting guys and girls. So let's go into the kitchen, get something to eat and get going. Alright, now when you look at this transmission, you can see it is a 7-speed. Most transmissions are all laid out the same way with the exception of the reverse. This one you can see it's all the way over and to the right and down where some of them are to the left. Now the problem with this vehicle is I cannot use it because my feet are way too far away. So we're going to try to find ourselves another vehicle that's better for teaching. So I found a vehicle for training purposes. This one's great because it's got great view of my feet and the shifter. We're going to do a split screen anyway. But let's talk about that third pedal that makes standard transmissions so unique. Okay, so here we are. We have the clutch, we have the brake, and we have our gas pedal. Brake and gas is the same as any normal vehicle that you drive, any automatic vehicle. They work the same. There is no difference. The clutch, on the other hand, that's what makes driving a manual transmission so special. It is what engages and disengages your engine from your transmission. So here we have our shift pattern on this vehicle. It's a four speed transmission as we can see, one, two, three, four, and we can see which way we have to push the lever to get into whichever gear. We can say the reverse here is up and to the left, whereas the other one in the beginning of the video was down and to the right, but that's the only difference. So we just have to know uh, where our gears are so we can easily see one, two, three, four. It's important to note that anytime we're gonna be shifting gears, we have to push that clutch pedal down and also to start the car, we need to have the clutch pedal down. Here we go. So let's put it in first gear. Now I'm going to show you when you're first learning, you should actually try to start off in a safe area without using the gas. You can see I'm slowly letting the clutch out. The tachometer is barely moving. Uh, so I've basically not given it any gas and I've used just the idle of the engine to let us go. That's how smooth I let the clutch out. Then I'll push the clutch in, shift to second gear, just give it a wee bit of gas to go. Now you can see I'm not revving the engine all you can see where the tachometer is. It's just around 1,000 RPM, so it's barely above idle. So let's try this again. In first gear, I'm gonna take my foot off the clutch. That engages the engine to the transmission. Give it a little bit of gas. We're gonna go, if you take a look at the tachometer, you can see we're around 2,000 RPM. We're back down to 1,000 as I've shifted to second gear. Now, it's important to note that when you're stopping the vehicle, you have to push in the clutch. That You can see I pushed it there. Uh, I'm driving, I'm in third gear, but now as soon as I wanna stop, I can push in the clutch uh, put it in neutral, which is what I've done. You see I wiggle it, it's in neutral. Or if you don't put it in neutral, you have to hold that clutch down because if you don't, what will happen is the engine remains connected to the transmission and you will stall the vehicle. So it's important when you're coming to a stop to push that clutch in or else you're going to stall the vehicle because the engine and the transmission uh, remain engaged together. So here you can see I'm driving now it's important to note that uh, if you look at the tachometer, I'm around 2000 RPM and that's a good range where if I accelerate, I can still have a little bit of power. Uh, you, you don't want to be driving around in first gear because you'll just uh, rev your engine. You'll be just revving um, like crazy. So you don't want to do that. So you can see here I'm shifting different gears and each time I shift, if you pay attention to my foot, I'm pushing the clutch in there. You can see I'm wiggling the shifter right there. I'm back in a neutral. Now I can stop. Uh, that's fine, but I got to push the clutch in. There we go, back into first gear. Now I'll let the clutch out, give it a little bit of gas, and you can see we are driving again. Push in the clutch, change the gear. So you are using the clutch quite often uh, in a standard transmission because if you think about it with an automatic transmission, how many times your, your um, vehicle is changing gear, if you just pay attention, it's quite often. So with a manual, you do it uh, quite a bit. So it's uh, a lot of fun to drive manual uh, transmission. Uh, it, in a lot of older vehicles, they're actually cheaper to repair because there's almost no electronics in them. There's just a bunch of gears and bearings, really. It's, they're very easy to replace. Here you can see, once again, I'm around 2,000 RPM. I believe I'm in third gear, and I am just cruising. There we go, clutch, brake. I'm putting it back into neutral. So now I can come to a complete stop. And now before I begin, clutch in. There we go. And now I'm going to take off again. Away we go. So let's try taking off without the gas again. So here you can see I'm actually on even a little bit of a grade. I'm slowly releasing the clutch. You can see the vehicle starting to move and there we're moving. Just above idle, I'm going to give it gas. You see the tachometer go up, clutch in, shifting to second gear and clutch is back out. 
So if you look at the tachometer, you can see there I'm taking it close to 3,000, shifted, and now I'm back just under 2,000. Uh, if you can see on the tachometer there, the green, the green shaded area is between two and 4,000 RPM. And on this vehicle, that's where you want to keep your engine range. That's where the engine's happy. So, but for most uh, driving around town, you want to keep it around 2,000 RPM is, uh, is happy for, for most vehicles. So you can see how we're driving around. You got to be quite active with your feet. Uh, there's a lot to know, but it is very rewarding driving a standard car. Now you can see here we're cruising right along, third gear about 2,000 RPM. There's an arrow there showing the tack is at 2,000. Now I've shifted gears, so obviously it's going to change around a little bit more. Uh, I gave it a rev, you can see it bounce. What I want you to get out of this video is just how to start, how to stop, how to change gears. That's, that's the biggest thing. It'll all come second nature and you won't even think. Just like driving an automatic car half the time, you don't even realize when you're stepping on the brake, giving it gas, you just sort of instinctively do it. Uh, driving a standard is no different. It's just a matter of getting used to it. Here you go. We're going to try to start again. I'm letting out uh, the clutch to engage a transmission, give it a little bit of gas. There you go. If you watch the tachometer, you can see my engine speed, how it's going. It's actually very rewarding, uh, easy to drive a standard car. Just find a parking lot, practice somewhere uh, where there's no cars around. You will not hurt a, a, a standard car if you stall it. If it does stall, it's not a big deal. Just don't put yourself into a dangerous spot. So it's best to practice in parking lots, stuff like that. Here you can see we're going to start again. Watch the tack. I'm going to give it a little bit of gas. There we go, a little bit of gas, close to between 1 and 2,000, around 2,000 RPM. Let out the clutch, and I can just start driving in traffic. Every time I shift, uh, you see I have to use that clutch. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Remember to ring that bell. Any comments are appreciated. I answer them all. So if you have any comments, leave them down below and I will answer them. Thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Garage King over and out. Stay tuned till the next one.